In this video, we're going to talk about speed and velocity. Speed and velocity are related to distance and displacement. Now, first of all, speed is a scalar, and a scalar is a unit of measurement that does not include direction, whereas velocity is a vector, which is a unit of measurement that does include direction. And speed can be calculated by using distance. Both speed and distance are scalar measurements, and velocity can be calculated using displacement which are both vector measurements. So here's how we can define speed and velocity. Speed is the rate at which an object travels a certain distance, and velocity is the rate at which an object changes its position. They sound similar, but they are slightly different. Here's how we can explain this difference. The monarch butterfly has one of the greatest migrations, and just like birds, monarch butter butterflies travel south for the winter. Point Pelee, uh, which is this little tip of land, you can barely see it there, uh, in Ontario, is a temporary uh, resting place for monarch butterflies. And in the autumn, these butterflies are going to migrate from Point Pelee all the way down here to central Mexico. These places are about 3,000 kilometers apart from each other. If you've ever seen a butterfly fly, they don't fly very well, not in a straight line. They're tossed around by every breeze. And so as a monarch makes its way down from Point Pelee, it's really going to be kind of moving all over the place. And the monarch actually is going to take about two months to make this journey all the way down here to Mexico. Now I know that between these two points, Point Pelee there and Mexico, we have 3,000 kilometers. And since it's taking the butterfly two months to reach that destination, we could say that its uh, average velocity was 3,000 kilometers in two months. Uh, and we'll just indicate the direction here of south. Now, the average speed, however, um, is going to include all of that extra distance the monarch had traveled. And so the distance could be up to 4,000 kilometers when you take all the way that the wind has blown that monarch butterfly. Now with this distance, we can't add a direction because it wasn't traveling south the whole way. It was kind of moving all over the place. And so that's the difference between speed and velocity. So how do we calculate speed and velocity? Well, here's our equations. Speed is the amount of distance traveled over the length of time it took to travel that distance. We can shorten this using symbols here. The symbol for speed is actually V. Um, you know, it makes more sense because the same symbol is used for velocity, and velocity starts with a V. So we have V is equal to distance, which we could say D over T. Velocity uh, is going to be equal to the change in position over the time it took to change that position. This one's going to look a little bit different. We use the same symbol here, V is going to be equal to delta D. And that delta symbol, that little triangle, means the change in. So we have the change in position over time. You may also see in some places delta X used over T. And the delta x is going to indicate that the position is changing in the x direction. So if we had a coordinate system here where we had x, y axis here, that's what we mean. And so we could also have delta y over t. And so here's our equation for speed, and here's our equation for velocity. Okay, so let's try using this equation. Let's say that we were going to drive from Toronto down to Detroit. And that's a total distance of about 400 kilometers. And let's say that it took you six hours to make this trip. So what was your speed? Well, speed is equal to distance over time. So we could say that our distance was 400 kilometers over six hours for a total speed here of 66.7 kilometers per hour. So does that mean you're traveling exactly 66.7 kilometers per hour for the whole six hour trip? Well, no, because you know you probably had to stop for coffee, stop at traffic lights, and so this is actually going to be your average speed. 
sometimes you'll see average speed indicated with a line over the V just like that and this is this line will just indicate that it's an average rather than an instantaneous speed an instantaneous speed is given by the speedometer of a vehicle instantaneous speed takes a bit more mathematical skill and so we're not going to get into it in this video but that's a quick introduction to speed and velocity